So Tai Chi, Tai Chi, um, and we need to when we're doing the meditation, uh, when we're doing the Tai Chi, we need to bring this like meditation in the Tai Chi as well. So that's why uh, Tai Chi is more like uh, combined with a lot of things together. Qigong, let's say Qigong and meditation. Qigong and meditation is about like 3,000, 4,000 years ago. We already have meditation and Qigong. Okay? Meditation is a fullness, mindfulness. Qigong is, is combined with some, uh, meditation. Qigong is combined with some meditation. And then to, to have like some slow movement slow movement and uh, exercise so uh, qigong is also meditation to bring together with the uh, with the uh, body exercise body movements exercise breathing exercise uh, and the uh, mind exercise so this is the qigong okay meditation is most of them is not moving too much it's not moving too much uh, and Qigong has uh, some movement and Tai Chi moving more <laughs> Tai Chi moving more okay so so why we have a Qigong and meditation why is a Qigong long time ago we don't have a lot of people they don't have a lot of uh, they don't know have a lot of uh, medicine how to cure their body so people they use the Qigong to healing themselves or to make their self strong uh, special in the cold cold weather so the people they use the qigong to to improve their energy to build their energy so that's why we say qi qi is mean internal energy gong is means the movement you practice to build your internal energy so we call qigong okay mm, qigong Qigong have so many different kinds of Qigong. We also can say yoga is Qigong because of yoga, they, they doing yoga movement to build their energy. So we can say they are doing yoga Qigong. So Qigong is a big word. As long as the exercise can help you to build your energy and flow your energy, then we can say you are doing Qigong. So that's why I have so many different kinds of Qigong. Okay, uh, in in China, in China, qigong also is a very uh, popular for the martial artist, the martial artist, because of a lot of uh, kung fu master, the the martial art master, they they have used a lot of strength to to fight, to fight or to to protect themselves. So when they are using the the energy, is like to spending their energy. So they need to learn some kind of qigong to recover their energy, to make their energy, their body and more health. You cannot always spending the energy and then you don't take care of yourself. So we have we need to building the energy and then we use the energy to uh, to punch or to kick. So so we can use the qigong to strengthen their power. We they are using the qigong. To recover their power, they use qigong to healing their uh, their their body because of when they have the like, injury, qigong also is very good to healing their self. So qigong is for long history, so many different kind of martial art we have a qigong. Yeah, and and meditation. Meditation is learn how to focus on something, how to focus on on you doing something uh, for your uh, for uh, doing something. Like for example, when we do the, the fighting, like martial art, martial art, the master when they do the fighting, they also have to very focus on someone come to punch you, and you have to avoid it. You have to be very very focused. So meditation will help them to calm their mind and clear themselves. So they uh, uh, and also uh, people sometimes are very aggressive. Like bad bad 
bad uh, uh, mood, a bad mood, or sometimes it's very easy to get in angry or very sad. A lot of emotion things in your body. So we also can use the meditation to meditate ourselves and forget about a lot of bad things in your in your body. So meditation is also my healing. Okay, so this yeah, so this is a meditation. Uh, so and then about the about the Tai Chi. Tai Chi the history is a shorter than Qigong and meditation. Tai Chi is about four hundred years ago. So the master they they use his martial art movement. He used his martial art movement combined with the Qigong, combined with meditation, uh, combined with relaxing action, combined with the uh, uh, Yang philosophy. So Yin Yang, you know, Yin Yang is about like the the softness and strong, uh, the slow and fast, like two opposite things. This kind of philosophy to combine together into the Tai Chi and Chinese medicine theory into the Tai Chi to all this good thing to build together to create Tai Chi. Uh, so, so we people they know Tai Chi, they must to know Qigong and meditation. <laughs> yeah, because of it, it, it include include uh, meditation and Qigong inside. So people they doing the form actually at the same time they are healing their cell, they increase their energy. So that's why uh, Tai Chi is very popular in China. Yeah, if you if you in China, if you ask someone like, okay, what I want to learn something very help, very very uh, good for my health. A lot of people are like, okay, you go to do Tai Chi, <laughs> and 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 because of Tai Chi, even though people they have like injury, they still can practice, because, and also it's good. Uh, so that's why a lot of older people they choose Tai Chi as well because of it's uh. Uh, it's good for them. It's it's easy for them. If they have, if they are, if they want to exercise, it's like the running. Sometimes it's not good for the knee. Or if they walk out, they sometimes it hurt the, the joint. So, but but Tai Chi, you don't against with with yourself. You don't against with yourself. Uh, meditation, you don't against with yourself. Qigong, you don't get against with yourself. So all these things is very natural move natural move okay <laughs> so this is about <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome all right so it's about time so i will see you next time <laughs> oh, you're welcome <laughs>